Hi there, I'm Dr. Alan Lim with Scratch Labs, and I'm here to tell you about a new flavor of sports drink, strawberry lemonade. But let me tell you about our sports drink first. Uh, this has been our flagship product ever since we started. I started making this in a blender when I was on the road uh, working the Pro Tour, and I started making more for my friends here in my kitchen. And then eventually, as demand grew, we started making this stuff in a paint shaker at the local hardware store. Uh, but we now actually have a food safe facility. We're regulated by the FDA. This is a food product, nutrition facts, not a supplement product. And it's characterized by having uh, less sugar and more electrolytes. In fact, the same electrolyte profile that you actually find in your sweat, which allows your thirst to drive better hydration. All you have to do, put it in your bottle, drink to thirst. Um, what people might not know about our sports drink is that we also use a very specific ratio of glucose and fructose, which allows a higher rate of absorption of calories. Combined with the sodium, this allows water to move into the body faster than plain water alone. So a lot of advantages using this when you're exercising and sweating your butt off. Don't use it when you are quarantining by yourself on your couch watching Netflix, I know. Use it when you're exercising. Um, we wanted to visually showcase that we have a new flavor, strawberry lemonade, but we only have an orange and a banana. This is not orange banana sports drink. This is strawberry lemonade. We've got single stick servings. We've got the whole bag. You can get it at scratchlabs.com. You can also get it at your local bike shop. Go and support them if they're still open. We have a new product. The product is called Super Fuel. And the problem that it solves is the need to be able to drink your calories instead of eating your calories. So we don't actually have the real packaging because we're all quarantined right now and, you know, life. But we do have the cool prototype that we give to athletes. And these are the prototype bags that we give to athletes, you know, as we are testing product. This is what they've been receiving for almost the last two years now. Normally, we recommend a lower calorie drink mix with ample sodium for hydration and real food for fueling. But there are a lot of cases where you just can't eat or chew when you're in the middle of a race or you're going really hard or during a long endurance event. The problem is, if you're trying to drink all of your calories, you risk GI distress. The reason why we like real food for fueling is that real food ends up holding up in the stomach. As it digests, it slowly trickles into the small intestine at a rate at which the small intestine can absorb. It's like having a traffic light in front of a highway that lets one car on at a time so you don't get a big cluster. The problem with liquid fueling is that because it's already liquid, it doesn't hold up in the stomach and so it rushes into your small intestine. And if you have too many molecules coming into the small intestine at once, you can get a huge, huge issue with GI distress. The way that you can actually get liquid fueling is by using a number of different carbohydrates. At the very simplest, you can use simple sugars like glucose, like lactose, or like fructose. What's important to realize is that no matter what carbohydrate you use, it ultimately needs to digest to either one glucose, one galactose, or one fructose for it to absorb in the body. You can also use disaccharides like maltose, or lactose or sucrose, cane sugar. The interesting thing about these monos or these disaccharides compared to monosaccharides is that the pressure that this one molecule and this bigger molecule puts on your gut is exactly the same. Think of it this way. This is like a single car going down the highway with one person. This is like a car going down the highway with two people. Even though this has twice the calories, it puts the same stress on the highway or your gut as this molecule. Now, to take advantage of that, people have tried using buses, right? Or complex carbohydrates like maltodextrin to put in their bottle as fuel. A typical maltodextrin molecule is only about three to say maybe 15 glucose units. You get a lot more calories for the same molecular pressure or stress. But the problem with maltodextrin is that it can break apart super easily and because it's liquid, it goes into the gut super, super fast. It breaks apart, and it's like a Trojan horse that can wreak havoc on your gut. And so what we decided to do was make an even more 
complex carbohydrate or use a more complex carbohydrate called highly branched cyclic dextrin. Whereas one malto might be about five or 10 molecules of glucose, this bad boy is literally 60 to 70 glucose units. It's also highly branched, meaning it's not just a straight chain, but you've got branches and it forms a big cyclical structure. And this cyclical structure requires more enzymes for it to break down. In fact, two amylase and something called glucosidase. And it takes a little longer for this to break down. So when it goes into your gut, it breaks apart more slowly and more steadily, and it replicates what you see with real food. Effectively, a bigger, bulkier structure that takes a little longer to break down. In our super fuel structure, we also add a little bit of fructose for some sweetness and for another entry point for carbohydrate. We add the same amount of salt as our sports drink, so you can also use it hydrate. And we just add some lemons and limes so that net-net, we keep it as simple as possible, which lowers the amount of pressure it puts on your gut even more. We started this project with Gwen Jorgensen, who won a gold medal in triathlon. She was using this right before her marathon to get fuel in that trickled in for her whole marathon. We've also tested it for about a year and a half now with the EF Pro Cycling Team. They've had great success, enough so that we feel really, really confident that this is another great weapon to have in your arsenal. So now, you don't just have to eat your food or eat your fuel with food. You can also drink your fuel with super fuel. Here's some things we've learned about mixing this stuff. It does mix a lot easier than most of the other high carbohydrate solutions. Um, you know, you can put up to in a half liter bottle like this, you can put up to 100 grams or 400 calories. Um, most of the athletes we work with will do either 300 to 400 calories. And remember, you only need about half the calories you burn an hour for events lasting from three to five hours in length. Um, so you can decide what you want to use. There's a bit of flexibility. It's a pretty light powder. And so what we have learned about mixing this stuff is that it's best to put the dry powder in the bottle first. You add a little bit of water, maybe about halfway then shake it really hard, then top it off with water. Um, for whatever reason, it mixes really well that way, but if you put the water in first and then put the powder in, not as good. Uh, you'll notice that it's a little thicker, but still very, very thin. It's got a really, really light, mild taste. It's not overwhelming. Um, just like our regular sports hydration drink mix, it's super, super simple. We have a new energy chew product. If you're not familiar with our energy chews, they're essentially like little fruit drops, little candy delicious, you know, dudes of pectin and glucose and fructose and powdered sugar. And you put them in your mouth when you're hangry and you're exercising and you need a quick pick me up. Um, they're pretty self explanatory. If you are an endurance athlete or any athlete, you're pretty familiar with this stuff because it's amazing. And it tastes good. We only use real fruit for flavor. And our new flavor is sour cherry. But guess what? It's not just sour cherry. What we have learned from all of you out there is you're freaking addicted. You're addicted to caffeine. You can't get enough of it. All day long with your like bougie pour over, just like pouring it over, trying to get the cafe, trying to get the magical elixir of caffeine which in like 300 millish so might be about 100 depending upon the bean you're using. And so in each packet of our new sour chew, guess what? We're putting 50 milligrams of caffeine. We're drug dealers now. We're pushing it hard. We're getting the caffeine from a green tea extract. So uh, it's not synthetic, it's natural. I love this product because compared to other caffeinated chews out there, this actually tastes freaking good. And of course, I'm totally biased because I'm trying to sell this to you, but I really believe that they taste great. They're soft, they're delicate, they're precious. If I had a bunch of them because I'm quarantined by myself, I would basically just be hugging them inside of my pillow all night and then eating them. It's a freaky relationship, 
But I think where you're going to love them, there are our basic energy chews, sour cherry, caffeine. Okay, fine. We did it for you. Follow us on the Insta at Scratch Labs. You know where to find us. Thanks so much.